it is with great regret that I make this video to inform you that the coronavirus has killed and ravaged millions of lives on the planet. And because of that, I have decided to bring to you this wonderful episode. No, 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 I'm going to do that. Obviously, obviously that was a joke. This video has nothing to do with the coronavirus and instead it's a continuation of the collaborations that we have been having on this channel for the past few weeks. So today we are going to be having a wonderful person join us and his name is Javan Nachibode. Javan Nachibode is a native Kenyan. I've never met him in person before, but I've met him through other means. And Javan is a person who is passionate about youth leadership in Africa. And he has taken several steps in that particular field to make sure that he makes impact. He's going to be sharing with us today about some of those things that he has done as an individual, as a young person, to ensure that he sees change happening in his society and his community and his environment, not only because of someone who has instituted that change, but because he himself has taken an active part in making sure that that change happens. So Javan Natibwede is going to be talking up to us today. I'm not going to spill the beans on him because he is a totally great person. And take it away, Javan. Take it, take it away, Javan. <laughs> that second part is a good joke. Hello everyone, I'll be doing this video as part of a collaboration with Titus Abondo. It's a platform that he has created to give drive, to give um to give a platform for the youth to better themselves and to make a better Africa and eventually a better world. So I'll I'll have a set of uh, guiding questions which I'll follow as I answer the questions that he's given me. I hope you enjoy. Uh, so the first part will be introduction, introduce yourself. My name is Javan Nachibwede from Kenya. I study at the African Leadership University in Rwanda. I'm passionate about business, law, and a bit, of, a bit about conservation, which I hope to, to go on with as I aspire in my career and as I, as, I, as I study more. How do you define the youth? According to me, the youth is a pool of people with talent, skills, and a set of people who would actually give drive and give change, and a set of people who would actually take Africa to the next level. Uh, according to a study by the United Nations, 19% of the total world population is uh, of the youth. That includes people between 15 to 24 years. So we can see that with this number, which is actually uh, destined to grow to around um, uh, 440 million, which is 45%, that is by, by 2045. So we can see that with this number, it could actually bring a far better change in Africa. What makes, uh, what makes African youths different from the other youth? I think what makes the African youth different is their restlessness, their relentlessness, and their hard work and their passion. They are people who would work together to see other people, uh, to see their fellows, to, to see their fellows succeed. This has been seen in various fields such as music, sports, in various institutions uh, such as uh, the University of Nairobi in Kenya, where students have come together to actually give support to their fellow musicians and stuff. So this is one item that I think is quite unique and different among the youth in Africa. Do you watch movies and watch genre? Okay, I, I do watch comedy. I love comedy so much. Uh, partly because I can watch it with my family, I can watch it with my peers. I can watch it with basically everyone, so that's that's one aspect I love about it. Not only that, I also appreciate it because it gives me a sense of joy and a sense of relaxation after a hard day at school. Uh, the fourth question, the fifth question, as an adver as an active advocate for civic engagement, what drives your dream for Africa? The dream that I have for Africa is an Africa that gives opportunities to everyone, regardless of gender, regardless of country regardless of your background in any forms i dream of an africa that um that seeks to uh to give opportunities as i had said in all fields be, be it education be it agriculture be it in the field of education built in the field of um of industrialization among others uh, according to you how has africa failed in leadership in the past years I think the biggest and the greatest failure in leadership in Africa is we lack mentors. We lack the mentorship and we lack the training to actually become good leaders in Africa. 
and it's actually some something good that um has come up uh, in the last five years where we've had institutions that have taken it upon themselves to to train and to bring up to bring up our leaders for Africa. This is an example of uh, the African Leadership University and the African Leadership Academy in South Africa. So I think this is a good initiative that has been taken, and, and uh, I think it's something that other institutions could also adopt. Make a random joke. Okay, I wasn't prepared for this, but as part of my random joke, I'll give you a very touching story. Mark my words, a very very touching story. So one day there was this guy who was going to the market. And on the market, he met a dead hare. So he touched it and touched it and touched it. What a touching story. <laughs> so once again, thank you so much, Titus, for everything, for giving out this platform that you could speak out, for seeking to drive and for seeking to provide a platform for driving the change in Africa, the drive we deserve. Uh, thank you so much. Once again, subscribe, hit the notification button. Thank you. One thing that I totally like about the Kenyans is the way they pronounce the accent. Um, if you have watched my video about introduction to myself, something like that, you're going to see that I'm quite fluent in many accents. But one accent that I cannot get is the Kenyan accent. Each time Javan speaks, I'm like, how, how does he do that? Is that a special power that I can learn? Uh, but so much we thank Javan for, you know, answering this call and joining us on this channel today to talk about his personal personal issues and um, his desire to see that leadership changes in Africa and how far he has gone on his own journey to make sure that that happens like I said and I'm going to keep saying on these videos uh, this is a series of collaborations that I'm going to be making this whole month with several youtubers with several change makers with several content creators with several want to be youtubers and content creators around the world who are going to share with us their passion and their desire for a change in any specific field of interest that they are in so once more go ahead and leave a like on this video if you already have not uh subscribe to our channel uh there's a red button down there i don't know if you can see it but it's, it's definitely down there you should probably like wipe your eyes or something it's there and then uh hit the notifications button because when you hit that button youtube starts doing good things on this channel no, no, no. You should. You know what? Just, just hit the button. Just hit the button. Have a nice day. Hey.